Hey guys, it's Farmer Brad here. Um, just doing some chores and wanted to give you guys a little farm update on Chicken Town. Over here I got the new run basically completed. Uh, sorry the geese are loud. Over here I have a rent -a -coop, um, feeding port on a four gallon bucket. Over there is a best nest box with rollout. Oh man, they're, they're really loud. Um, and then the goal over here is to finish putting, uh, reusing some metal roofing to finish that up over there. And then I'll take this cat, these uh, cattle panels and put it along the edge there and along here. I'm gonna put a gate here. Then there's this old like 12 foot gate and I'm going to try to attach it to here. And I think I'll be okay because what I'm gonna do is be able to help direct sheep into this into the gate over here. So that will swing open and then this gate will open that way. And then I'll be able to help direct sheep over here. And that will be able to help me sort of corral some of the sheep. And uh, if I need to sell any, uh, then I can uh, back the truck up to here and get them on the truck. It's the, uh, Tony, it's the geese. They're being really loud. So we got two geese and two ducks. And then this is basically my Australort breeding flock for right now. Um, and knocked some of these weeds down. I need to knock the rest of these weeds down. I ended up uh, taking the corn stalks off and now I'm offering um, fall decor packages. Basically the fall decor package includes a straw bale and a bundle of corn stalks for decorating for fall. And then uh, I have an Amish neighbor down the road that's raising pumpkins. So I can include a pumpkin for $25 and then it's $30 uh, for delivered in Richmond. Um, let's see, I got some roosters. So these are the big Australorp roosters. I have too many roosters right now, um, but uh, so some of them are free ranging. And over here is two more Rinnacoop um, feeders that I made. And then in here, I have the Australorps that I hatched out at the beginning of July. So they are 11 weeks or probably 12 weeks by now. And they're doing good. I have a feeling that most of them might actually be hens, which would be great. Um, and over here is my Bantam Palace. These are Bantam Red Cochins. And they're just all chilling up here. And let's see. Um, one of them hatched, hatched out uh, 11 eggs, um, Edith. And then one of these roosters is Tessa, who we thought was a hen that my oldest showed at 4-H. And so we got see we got three roosters right now in there I think and so this is a this is a nice place for them and all of these chicken coops I got um, daisy chained waters in there uh, let me go ahead and feed these bantams and hopefully none of them escape
then I also need to make sure that none of them are oh oh wait oh no sorry did not mean for Instagram to see that uh whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. sorry that is farm life like one of the roosters did not make it. And then over here, these bantams are, uh, let me see, I think um, 17 weeks and then the Australorps are younger than that. I'll have to look at my um, incubating chart. And then here is Marshall. Let's see. Right here is Marshall. He's wanting to snag some chicken feed. And I, I really like these containers. They're good for putting the chicken feed out where the chickens are and they're watertight. Oh, oh, oh. And then, um, let's see. In here are, is an assortment of roosters. I still need to move that bantam over with the other ones. So I'll go in here and give them some feed. They're, they're pretty good on feed. <laughs> and I'll fill up one of these for the free rangers. Oh, that one's actually full, and that one's pretty full. And then over there, they got a water that they can get to, and the lid is off so that Marshall can drink from that. And I'll just throw some down for him for easy access. Let me come over here. We got the rabbits. So here are the lion head rabbits. And still, their rabbit hutch is still a work in progress. And the goal with this is to get this all insulated then I'll take some old billboard and staple it around the bottom so that will help keep the wind from whipping up there and then I need to put another divider there and these will be made so I can pull them out if I need to now I'll end up probably having this one have a small door so they can access that during the winter time. And then I need to put a wooden door with a hinge on here. And then once you open that up, then there will be a door that I can open up to get access there. Um, and then on top, there will be a slanted roof. Um, but this is what I got for right now. And then over here I got some more Australorps um, at various ages and the garden kind of got out of control but um, I was at least able to get the corn, majority of the corn stalks out of there. And then over here 
Um, over here is the Lufa Gourds, uh, which I'm really excited about. This is the first time I've ever grown these. And looks like a decent amount of them are appearing in this. Actually came down over here. There's one there. And this was the first one to grow. Now I'm not quite sure when to harvest it, um, but seems like I have a decent amount that are there. And um, let me see if the sheep are around. Yeah, I think uh, might be up to 150 chickens from baby chicks up to adults, I would say. And I don't have any meat, uh, I don't have any commercial meat birds on the farm right now. Um, let's see. <clears throat> Sheep, 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 sheep. Whoop, 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 whoop. Trying to get them to come over here. Sheep, 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 sheep. They're hiding right over there. So one project I still need to do is that heated horse trough there. The water pipe busted this last winter. And so I need to trench and reroute. So I'm hoping to dig there, trench up this way, and trench out that way so I can put a hydrant near the garden. And then uh, I probably won't um, get the trench all the way out to the high tunnel. But eventually I would like to get out water hydrant all the way out there come on sheep 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 come on sheep boop, 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 boop. so these are katahdin sheep and they have access to various pastures uh paddocks of uh pasture around here and um i started with three and now we're up to eight I do need to sort of move some of them around because I think they're starting to breed and get aggressive. And um, over there is a broken sheep shelter that started out as a um, chicken tractor, a large chicken tractor. Um, but then when I moved it, it kind of fell apart. Uh, it still gets them out of the shade. Now when they're in this area, they have access to the barn and they are able to get shelter there. Um, so I would like to have a couple areas and I'm almost thinking about just putting some tin on some wood and then put it up in the, um, like fasten it or suspend it uh, from the trees back here uh, so that they can just have shelter. Oop, looks like a young one's gonna try to take on the uh, is that which one is that up oh. up oh, oh. okay so that's Gandalf Gandalf is this one that one is Bruce. looks like it was reconnecting um, yeah these uh, sunsets do not get old it's just wonderful just seeing these sunsets. So the plan with these sheep, with the sheep are, I need to have some back in that paddock. I need to have some over there in that paddock. And then um, I can have some in this area. Um, they're doing a pretty good job of keeping the grass cut in their home paddock. Um, but they're kind of losing the battle on the other part. So at least 
if they can knock it down, then I can get it again with the mower before it becomes winter. Um, yeah, so let's see. Any other places um, you guys want to see on this uh, farm update? I'm going to wrap it up and talk to you later. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can go to farmerbrad.com forward slash YouTube and um, subscribe and watch videos. I'm getting pretty close to being monetized. Um, and so that's exciting. Until next time, have a wonderful day.